हेलो स्टूडेंट वार्म वेलकम इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जी मीन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सिक्स अप्रैल सेफ्ट फर्स्ट लेट ए वन ए टू ए थ्री ए एन आर इन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेसन हैविंग कॉमन डिफरेंस डी द वैल्यू ऑफ लिमिट एन टेंस टू इन फन एट अंड्रू डी ओवर एन वन अपॉन अंड्रू डी वन प्लस वन अपॉन प्लस अंड्रू डी टू प्लस वन अपॉन अंड्रू डी टू प्लस ए थ्री एंड सो वन दिस सो स्टूडेंट हियर इट इज गिविंग दैट ए वन ए टू ए थ्री एंड ए एन आर एन ए पी दे आर फोर डी इक्वल टू ए टू माइनस ए वन ए थ्री माइनस ए टू एंड ए फोर माइनस ए थ्री एंड सो वन ए एन माइनस ए एन माइनस वन ओके सो द गिविन लिमिट एन टेंस टू इनफाइनाइट डी ओवर एन रूट वन अपॉन ए वन रूट प्लस ए टू रूट वन अपॉन ए टू रूट प्लस ए थ्री रूट प्लस एंड सो वन वन अपॉन रूट ए एन माइनस वन प्लस रूट ए एन Okay, now rationalizing the denominator limit n tends to infinite root d upon n. So I multiplying its conjugate, which is under root a two minus under root a one. So this become can be multiplied a two under root a two minus a one. Okay. And this under root a three minus under root a two in numerator and denominator both. So a three plus a two into under root a three minus under root a two plus and so on. Okay. And this a n minus under root a n minus one upon A n plus under root A n minus one into under root A n minus under root A n minus one. So we got limit n tends to infinity d over n. This become under root A two minus A one upon this A two minus A one, and this is A three. Root a three minus root a two upon a three minus a two plus and so on, and this become under root a n minus under root a n minus one over a n minus a n minus one. And what is this? This is d. So limit n tends to infinite d over n. This is under root a two minus under root a one upon d. Under root a three minus under root a two upon d plus and so on under root a n minus under root a n minus one upon d. Now d is common in all the denominator, so we take it as common under root d upon n upon upon d. This is a two minus a one plus. Under root a three minus under root a two plus so n under root a n minus under root a n minus one. So finally, is a two a two cancel, a three etc cancel. We got limit n tends to infinite. This d divided by one upon under root n d. So. Under root n d. Okay. Now this become a n, a n remain, and this also cancelled. Under root a n minus under root a one. Only the term remain are under root a n and under root a minus under root a one. Upon one. Okay. So now, 
limit n tends to infinite this is upon upon d and we put and root a n is n terms a1 plus n minus 1 into d minus and root a1 upon this and root n okay now limit n tends to infinite this is 1 upon d 1 upon d root 1 upon d okay and we take common we take common n from this under root okay this under root so what we have under root n here a1 upon n plus n minus 1 upon n into d minus and root a1 upon n upon and root n and root n and root cancel we got limit n tends to infinite 1 upon root d and uh, this will be a1 upon n 1 minus 1 upon n into d in and root minus and root a1 upon n now applying limit we got 1 upon root d this will be 0 because a1 upon infinite plus 1 minus 1 upon infinite into d and this is a1 upon infinite so 1 upon root d this will be 0 this will be 0 only d remained and this is 0 so under root d over under root d come finally which is 1 so student answer of this question is 1 finally rationalizing the factors we got this solution i hope you got it please like the video subscribe the channel thanks for watching